that we would talk about Kim's haunted house and the fact that Kim, your house wasn't haunted necessarily when you moved in, right? You no, but when I put up my protections and made started making the space mine, uh, more things moved in. <laughs> and uh, I, did you were you able to get the two videos that I sent? I do. I have the videos. So just so um, because Kim and I chat about this all the time, there's nothing frightening haunting you. Nothing that malevolent would be allowed anywhere near your home. No. So. There's just a lot of beings. They like to visit. Yeah. So I, I basically, so Jay, it kind of feels like a train station sometimes. Um, and the, there's actually two clips and they kind of went back to back. Um, I literally just left my house and about five minutes later, the two clips you'll see, um, they just started making their way through my house and my vents go from ceiling to floor right? So everything blows down, but all of these guys are going up and they just, they come and go. And sometimes the house is really quiet and other times it's like full of activity. They're little, you know, they're checking things out and moving to say, Hey, we're here. Pay attention. <laughs> when, I, when I do the geopathic stress index and I have you stand in the center of the house, it's a minus 400,000% stress. So that all that activity, it may may not be whatever you're seeing, you know, passing up and down only, but generally there's portals or vortexes in terms of how mm -hmm. they get in. Um, and so um, so part of a, a, any house clearing, whether it's me or someone else, which, you know, is to clear everything out and then seal up how they're getting in to the degree that you're able to. But okay. I don't think you want it cleared. You're fine with your little buddies hanging out, right? Although when you're awake and you see them, they don't necessarily look like orbs. When no. they show up, they look no. like people and what else? People Animals. and sea creatures and other things of WTF. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be totally fine with closing out because when I was younger, I lived in an apartment that I had a portal and I actually tape recorded it. And um, this was back in 83 put a tape inside the closet and then a tape, another tape recorder outside. The one inside the closet recorded um, the uh, Civil War, the drum roll, the ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta -ta. you heard dogs barking, you heard airplanes going, you heard bugles, you heard people fighting, muskets. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a whole gambit. And then I had another recorder, like I said, outside the closet, the door was closed. That was maybe eight feet, if that. And it didn't pick up anything. How mu how much of it is your you know, bending of time and and, and and you know and, and astral travel type of thing? I'm wondering. I, I'll go fifty fifty because mm -hmm. I really don't know. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, certain things like that I don't have happen much anymore. Um, as far as the sounds and stuff like that, um, I just get lots of transient things that pop in and out <laughs> so um and they don't thankfully they don't look like shadow people uh which kind of freaks me out sometimes um you know they look like starfish blobs whatnots but i do think we'll be having another conversation in regards to my house after because i closed up all the shiny objects i put mm -hmm. sigils on them and stuff like that to stop them but i wasn't thinking otherwise so yeah I don't mind certain things, but that index is a little high, so we can get rid of some of the extra stuff. You've had yeah. people, mm -hmm. you've had non-living people in your room watching you while you sleep. Yes. That to me is a like, no, <laughs> no thank you. I'm thinking they might be family because they're bent over looking, you know, but again, I don't know because you wake up at 2 a.m. and there's a solid corporal body standing over you so you immediately go into fight or flight and then they disappear <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> so. Yeah. well i mean just as you can talk about in the shows that you're anxious that's causing stress on your energy <laughs> field, right yes it I is mean, not gonna I mean, lie i mean you know from your reaction right that yes it's, it's you know a little too far too weird for you i've been there my whole life 
And you think I'd be um, used to it. <laughs> and so it's sort of like, you know, your energy field, it's sort of like if you had a splinter in your finger, you, it hurts, it, you know, and your immune yeah. system's fighting that off. Same thing with stuff when it's in your house or in your field, you know, it's, it has to, you know, compensate for, for that amount of stress. Yeah, I don't mind a little bit because some of it comes with the territory, but um, what, you know what? Play that video, play that bean footage. Okay, I'm, okay, guys, I'm going to share a screen. It's going to be an awkward moment while I, while I get to it, but um, let's see. Okay. Okay, here's the first one. I actually have three because you have an old one that I like. So... <laughs> Yeah, that was from October. Yeah. And the first thing I asked him is, are there any windows there? Is there traffic going by? Do you have a mirror ball? You know, and, and it was no to all of that. Yeah. And the other thing, too, is with the audio, um, when you listen to it, um, you the, the, it goes from quiet to static. Yeah. Now, these are going in a different direction. Yeah, they're not going the same direction the others were going. That's why I wanted to include the one from October. Yeah, because I went. Yeah, this was um, two nights, a few nights ago. And here's the third. Yeah. And they're going in another direction. Yeah. Yeah, I I just recently we had a friend that sent us because she um, travels a lot, mm -hmm. and she has cameras because she has cats and stuff and yeah. all of this stuff was being recorded on the camera mm -hmm. and, and not just a little orb small you know the, there were things that <laughs> that were well, almost looked like like airplane wings or something like like, like sheets of two sheets of paper she know, has like, others that look wings. like yeah she has others that look like giant moths flying by the camera but it's mm -hmm. so fast but it looks like a mm -hmm. giant moth yeah. Yeah, and maybe it's the veils, you know, being thinner and thinner, so we see where cameras are picking it up. I mean, I have neighbors that have the ring doorbell, and they they can see, you know, see stuff. You know, oh yeah. You know. so yeah. Be, oh, we'll be talking about cleaning some of it up. I mean, some of it's just going to be there from the sheer nature of what I do, but the, some of the other stuff yeah. eh, can go away. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>